There's something about that energy when you're kind of like living in a creative house. Uh, my my group cheat codes. That's kind of how we started. I had a yeah. roommate named Trevor, and we were sharing a room, but we both it was one room, but we had a, a, both had studio setups. So we marked our calendar, and it was like, all right, I get I get the speakers, the loudspeakers Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You get your speakers Tuesday, Thursday, mm -hmm. Saturday, and we just alternated. And then we would, we would like listen to like, you know, yeah. I'd be listening to what he's working on. He's listening to what I'm working on. Yeah. And then we're like, start collaborating. And then damn next thing you know, we got it's a group. Hard. It yeah. takes a certain type of person to make it out here. I was sleeping in my car. So it's like, I know like a lot of, I feel like a lot of younger people don't realize that like uh, they see a lot of the glitz and the glam, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know what? I had to eat shit for so long. I had fucking bed bugs in Koreatown when I first moved here. Like oh my God. I, had, I had to eat shit for so many years. Yeah. And like only until I was like able to separate my ego and like be like, yo, you know what? Fuck that shit. Like I'm going to grind no matter what. I had three jobs at once. Like, <laughs> There's something about hitting that point Dude. though. Once you hit it. Yeah. Then you're kind of not scared of anything. Yeah. See, the thing is I came to LA. Yeah. Kind of blessed because I already had my pub deal. Yeah. Tiny Air Drummers. We already had a house. So I had to come to LA on that because I already went through that in Atlanta. Right, right. So I came out here in a million dollar mansion. Yes. Staying, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Going to the dope studios. And yeah. then I found my way because I knew I didn't want to stay with Jimmy and Sway. And mm -hmm. be a, as they're growing bigger and bigger as artists, they wanted a space. And I'm like, you know what? I'm a man. Let me just get my own place. You yes. know what I'm saying? So I got my own place and started doing that. And then I had a studio out here for a little while. And then, nice. You know, and all that. And I was like, I feel yeah. you. So I see the struggle when I hear artists or people talking like, yeah. man, I got to go to work and then come home and do that. I'm like, what are you talking about? You got 24 <laughs> hours in the day. Are you telling me you can't go to your nine to five, get off your job and do your dream? 100%. And you don't fucking want it. Don't you don't talk fucking want it. You don't, don't want it. Don't you do not want it. Because you never ate ramen noodles. You never went starving <sighs> for a whole week. Shout out to GLC. Start, I went yeah. a week without eating. GLC was living in Atlanta. He hit me up. Like, hey, let's work. I was like, bro, I can't even work right now. He's like, what's up? I was like, man, I ain't ate for a week. GLC came. This is when I ate fish. Yeah. GLC came through and brought me a fish sandwich. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's people like that I yeah. always keep close. And, yeah. And those are grind. Like, if you can't grind like that, if you can't, like you said, sleep in your car yeah. or eat some tuna out of a can or uh, go to work Dude. and wake and be up or all night and then go back to work and be sleepy as hell, then you don't want it. No, you don't fucking want it. Yo. You, you can't be looking cute. It's not about being cute when you first get here. There's a lot of people just paralyzed with fear and they never go for what they want. And I'm, you know from, I'm from Missouri and people, everyone, I was like, I'm going to move to LA and just follow my dreams. They're like, it's yeah. dangerous out there though. Yeah, you Are might you get sure? Hurt. Yeah, but you, you might know what scares me? I'm from St. Louis, bro. It's fucking hella but you dangerous know, but out there. But you know there. what? What scares me more than the idea of, of getting robbed or something happening in LA? Staying in fucking Minnesota doing the same shit. I would rather die. I would oh, rather die. Let me tell you something. Last time, last I went to Minnesota a couple of times, but the last time I was yeah. there during the sound set, like when I was there for a little while. When did you go? When uh, Lil Wayne went? The year before that. Oh, I, fuck. Okay. So, because I had Steve and Zan. Zan didn't show, but anyway, I had shows and DJ, whatever. Anyway. Yeah. So, I went out there, and then I started seeing people from, I went to middle school, whatever. I'm looking, yeah. and I'm like, oh, shit. You look crazy. Crazy. Oh, shit. What <laughs> are you, what? And then, yeah. I, and then I felt it, because I was downtown, and I had and me being in this lifestyle, and then I'm like, I got yeah. the black Uber, the the SUV, two SUVs yeah. parked in front of the uh, Pizza Luzi right. downtown. I love Pizza Luzi. Hey, shout down out. Yeah, I'm down there eating my little vegan sandwich, go yeah. smoking a blunt and shit. Got my my fucking bus down out. I'm yeah. like, bus down early. <laughs> I'm thinking like, uh, you know, this is I'm I'm flashing. I got yeah. the, you know what I'm saying. Somebody runs up on me. Oh fuck. Like what's blah blah blah, and I'm like. Are you really gonna run? We got two SUVs. This security. Stupid. Lil Xan is in there. Stupid. We have security. As soon as the security came up, but it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then like it was funny because I'm and I'm like, yo, people really don't know that it's not like Hollywood, it's not like Atlanta. These small towns, people yeah. don't see that shit. Yeah. It's so weird every time I land in St. Louis and my outfit and everyone's looking at me. <laughs> and I'm and I'm just like if I'm in LA nobody you have like gives palms a fuck. Angels yeah, on, yeah, you have nobody like fucking Balenci's on. You're like nobody cares in LA. But then when I'm in St. Louis, I'm like, oh god, I should I, I should just dress normal. You look like a piece of meat. You yeah. do, you do. Hundred percent. Worn some plain 100%, colors. Hundred percent. I fucking agree.